Alright, this is El Muerte for Rock Hard Live. I'm here with uh, Will from Dance Gavin Dance. How's it going so far? It's going good. First day of tour. Um, First day, huh? I don't excited? know. Do I have to hold this up? or uh, Anywhere in this anywhere. general area okay. is fine. Are you excited about touring again? Yeah, definitely. I mean, our band's always changing and we like to tell people that it's not going to and it does. And Right now, I'm going to tell you that it's probably not going to change again, so you could take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> but we really like the lineup right now. It sounds great. We've been practicing a lot more than we usually do, and Tilly and our new vocalist sounds amazing. So I'm happy to, to be going around and playing shows and not having any problems with the way things are going in the front man, you know, court. <laughs> Yeah, so how does uh, Tillian compare to like at the other front men, you know, like Johnny and whatnot that you've yeah. had before? Johnny's great. Uh, Tillian's awesome too, though. I think he brings something a little different and a little bit of cleanliness to the vocals. Like, he's just so smooth, and I think people are really going to enjoy listening to him sing those songs. So tonight will be his first time singing with you guys live in front of an audience? Yes, yes, it Awesome, will be. man. I look forward to seeing that. It's been a while since your last CD. Um, any plans? What are you guys looking to do? After this record, uh, we're going to take some time off, probably right, and I'd like to do a new album early next year. So we have some choices to make on producer and like what we want to do, really. So um, when we get home from this tour, we'll address that. Right now, it's just kind of going out and making this tour the best it could be. So how long is this tour for? A month and a half. A month and a half, yeah. so it should be like, going all the way across the United States or what? Yeah, all the way into Hurricane Sandy territory. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll be cleaned up by then. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, we're going to do some fun questions. Uh, are you right. prepared for the zombie apocalypse? I mean, I read the zombie survival guide. Uh huh. I think I'm pretty prepared. I love George Romero movies personally too, so I think I have a lot of good, um, I've done a lot of research into what would be necessary. I don't want to go into it because, I mean, you could write books about it, but I'm pretty prepared. Yeah. Well, I'm going to ask you some more questions about during it. during the zombie apocalypse, you'll probably be fine. We're safe, yeah. right? Yeah. So if your drummer was a zombie, would you... Uh, I'd kill him. You'd kill yeah, him? Immediately. <laughs> yeah, immediately. We're safe. You got to. You got to. <laughs> No, no, uh, no loss there, huh? Just. I mean, he's already dead. That's the way you got to look at it at that point. That's There's, true, man. Yeah. I feel the same way about vampires. Yeah, exactly. You oh. just got to kill them immediately. Yeah. Immediately. So, uh, now, if you were a zombie, what would you do? I don't think I would be able to think at that point. I'd probably eat other people. Um, so zombies, they can't think. I doubt it. Yeah, I'd enjoy it. I'm pretty sure too. Yeah. I, I bet the people taste good once you you're once you have that bloodlust. I mean, it's all good from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we, if the oncoming zombie apocalypse is coming and there's a whole army of them coming at you, do you, do you fight them or do you run? You run. You run. Yeah. You, you run and hide, right? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, because they seem kind of slow. You might be able to fight them. It's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, it's just you got to weigh risk on everything you do. Yeah, yeah that's true. So do you uh, follow politics at all? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I don't really like either party, but I do follow what happens. Roseanne Barr, is she running? She's running for president. <laughs> I don't know why. Roseanne. She's not psychologically Michelle stable. Roseanne. I don't want Roseanne as my president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want Roseanne either. So you, do you have a third party that you would uh, vote for, or are you just, uh, they all suck? Not really. They all seem to. Ca I mean, the two main ones cater to all the same interests, and all the rest of them are just m like mold up in ideologies and things. And I don't think anybody really has a nice, a direct perspective on how to make things better. It's just a bunch of bullshit from different sources. So I can't really support any party. It's kind of like the system doesn't encourage people that really have good ideals and and values it's you got to kind of yeah. be corrupt to win you know yeah i mean you win by getting the money and you get the money by being corrupt so it's a perpetuating cycle now for me it's a matter of one's worse than the other so i vote for the one that's the least worse yeah so i don't know that's the way i look at it 
Yeah, I mean, I could see it like that. I just see them both heading towards the same direction. You know, That's I mean, there's true. a bunch of little issues that I agree a little bit more with Democrats on, like just civil rights issues that Republicans are a little bit crazy about. But other than that, like economic issues and stuff like that, neither of them have anything smart to say. You know. Well, what about health care? Healthcare, I go for universal healthcare. It works in all the countries that are universal, and I hate paying for healthcare, so why would you vote against that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. That's why one of the reasons I wouldn't want the Republican in office, because the first thing he's going to do is repeal Obamacare, which hasn't really kicked in yet, but yeah. at least we should give it a chance or try to improve it or whatever. You know? Yeah. So that's my opinion. Anyways, uh, you guys are from, are you're from Sacramento, right? Yeah. And uh, your drummer's from Sacramento? What about Most the rest of the guys? Are. They're all uh, from Sacramento? The new singer's from Florida, a little coastal town, I forgot the name, but it's by Tampa Bay. Um, everyone else is from Sacramento. So how does it feel to be playing before your hometown crowd tonight? You know, I was hoping that we'd have a couple warm-up shows before the hometown <laughs> show, but we don't, so I'm just going in trying to make sure that we don't fuck up too bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, right on. Do you have anything you want to add before we go? Not really. I think I've, I've said my piece. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you.